What's up, my peoples and my peoples to be? This is Comrade Card from Ill Digital Content, and this is another episode of the Get to the Point Reviews. And today, what we're going to do is a food review, and I felt like some fish today, but I didn't want to go to the fish market, so what I picked up is some bot Cape Gourmet Breaded Flounder Filets. We're going to bake these bad boys up and see what it's all about. All right? So I'm about to get it cracking with these breaded flounder fillets and EB Grizz seems to think they're not gonna be any good. What do you think? Is it gonna come out good in the oven or what? It's gonna be garbage. You think so? Yes, without a doubt. All right, well, we, we soon shall see. As you can see, my peoples, these are actually individually uh, wrapped, so if you open it up, it's not like, you know, the rest of it might go, you know, get freezer burn because it's exposed, you know, even though this bag does have a, um, it is a resealable Ziploc type bag. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to get this oven set for 400 degrees and it says to bake for 15 to 20 minutes. So let me get these bad boys opened up and let's get them in the oven. spray this portion of it with this is an old bacon trick spritz your stuff that you want to get crispy with a little spray uh, vegetable uh, little spray vegetable oil what's going to happen is that it's going to heat up and it should crisp the outside of your food as if it was in oil so I'm going to uh, that spritz that. I'm gonna leave that one plain just to see how it cooks up on its own straight up out the package. All right. Oh, oh, oh my peoples. All right. It's time to get these fillets in the oven. Let's see what's up. All right. So the ones I spritz are now gonna be on the top. So we'll just keep that in mind. Got a reference of the video. All right. Burn myself in this bad boy. All right. Ah, sexiness. All right, my people, so being that my oven is set at convection at 375 and the package says that I should cook for 10 minutes at 375 on convection. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set it for a timer on 10, 10 minutes and start. Bad boys about to come out the oven. Let's see if they looking, they looking proper. Let's see what's up. Dang. It is. Alright, my peoples, now the flounder fillets are out the oven. So the ones in the back. I spritzed with um, with some spray vegetable oils, and the ones in the front I left raw dog. So it looks done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack one open and see what it looks like in the recommended time. Um, I suspect I might have to throw them back in because I like my stuff really, really crispy. So let me crack one open and see what it's looking like real quick. I'm gonna get gangster with it real quick. Just grab it back. Just be on the other side. Not really. So I probably gonna have to flip them over and let them cook some more. But we're gonna see in a second. All right, my people. So let's see what this is looking like. All right. The edges are usually the best part of the fish for me. All right. So let's see. Is it looking official tissue? What y'all think? Looking like a little something, something to me. All right. Let's see what it tastes like. 
Oh, god damn. Yo. Oh, my shirt is gonna be tight. That's good. That is good. Yo, look at that. Now this is the one, I said I sprayed that with a little vegetable oil. You know, now uh, this side could be cooked a little bit more. I'm gonna put it in so this side's a little soft with the underside. Um, but yo, this is good. That was a good bite. This is the one that I didn't spritz. Let's see what that's tasting like. I mean, it probably looks the same inside, I'm sure. I mean, what I do on the outside really has no bearing on, on the inside doneness. But um, what I will say is, let's see, the outside feels crispy, the top side, bottom side, a little moist, so they need to be flipped. But anyway, let's take a bite of that. Yo, yo, that is good quality fish. I mean, I've had fish from restaurants that were of worse quality than this. I mean, I'm gonna flip it over and put it back in the oven and let the other side crisp up. But the two bites that I had of the one I spritzed and the one that I didn't spritz, but I don't even think I need salt and pepper on it. I mean, because sometimes I like my fish a little bit on the bland side, but this is, this is damn good fish. This is some some of the maybe best uh, prepared fish that I've had. I mean, this is on point. Let's put this back in the oven and crisp it up on the other side and then give it another bite. Yeah, now we got these bad boys out the oven, cooked on both sides, baked on both sides. This one I spritzed with uh, a little spray vegetable oil. This one is just straight out the packet and nice and crispy, nice and crispy. Yeah. Put that get on everything. Black, 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 black. Let's taste without spritzing. Oh, you heard that crunch? You know, that's real right there. Look at it. Just sticking the fork through it. Crispy. All right, look at the facial tissue. Let's see here. Hmm. Yo, you don't even need to spritz it. This is as good as any restaurant any fast food place, many even upper scale restaurants that have a breaded fish. This is damn good, all right? Now let's try the spritzed. This is spritzed with vegetable oil, listen to that. Look, stick it to the fork and it's crispy. You hear that crispiness? I'm gonna bit my damn tongue off. I'm so hungry. You could spritz it with vegetable oil, you know, if you insist, but you don't have to. I mean, honestly, that's with the vegetable oil spritz, and that's without. And they both was the same. They both tasty. You don't need to spritz these with anything. Just raw dog coming out the oven. Let's listen. Listen to that crisp again. That's as good as any restaurant I've been to. Real talk. That is damn good for a baked fish fillet. Riz was wrong. This came out official without frying. So Mr. Big Don, how do you rate these, uh, these Cape Gourmet breaded flounder fillets? Let me let you know. 
Very good. Very good. Um, you know, thing got crunch to it. You yeah, know. Um, it's cooked good. You know, it's like actually seasoned. A lot of frozen stuff don't be seasoned like that. And it doesn't have like a um. It's like like a lot of like frozen fish it has like a fishy kind of taste or smell to it, but this doesn't. It doesn't give off like a strong like flavor or taste. And yeah, it's good. I really like a cool like eight and a half. All right. Nine out of the yeah, nine out of ten actually. All right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now compared to fish, like you've had fish from restaurants before, right? A little bit. Yeah. How would you? How would this stack up to fish that you've had in restaurants? I think it could stack up to like like a red lobster type of like spot like a or like a bonefish grill like it could stack up to them flavor wise and like right. quality like if you went to like an actual fish market or something something like that you know they have they they're a little better still or like some place that's like slight you know like one spot like they do everything real official it's not better than that but for it being frozen it's damn good Alright, well, well there you have it. Kudos to Cape Gourmet. They have made an official tissue breaded flounder filet. It's as good as any restaurant I've been to. And if you love fish, maybe you're not a fan of frozen breaded fish, this is official tissue. I tr trust me, my peoples. Uh, just pop it in the oven. I would say bake it. The instructions say bake it for 10 minutes in a convection oven for 375. I say put it in for 20 minutes, put it on 10 minutes on each side. Perfect, my peoples. This is Conrad Card from the Get to the Point Reviews. So the next time, my peoples, <clears throat> yo, it's time to stop playing. I gotta tear this up. <laughs>